and welcome to How to Cook Great Food. With thousands of recipes and millions of views, why not subscribe to our channel and join the family? Welcome back once again to howtocookgreatfood.com. If you haven't already, please click that button and subscribe to our channel. On the menu today, and as you can see right here, just this second finish once again, we're making a vegetable soup with a kind of Indian style. Got some beautiful spices in there, some chili, cardamom, star anise. It's just really, really, really lovely spices. So a little bit spicy, what I'm calling a winter warmer, packed with any vegetables you like. I've got onions, potatoes, carrots, radish, okra, you know, plus, plus, plus. There's more stuff in there. I've got some beans in there and stuff. Anything goes, any vegetables you like. Really simple. Let's go and do it. Okay, straight in on this one today, guys. So we're going to need a large pot. We've got quite a lot of vegetables in that going in. I'm heating up some oil in there. I'm keeping it vegan, so uh, I'm using oil. I'm using a sunflower oil, but you could use ghee or butter if you wanted. Now what we're going to do, we're going to start off by putting in a little bit of chana dal, a little bit of dal there, that'll cook nicely. Then we're going to go for our beautiful spices, some whole garam masala, let's go in there. So we've got, I've got some cinnamon, star anise, I've got some uh, green cardamom, a few little bits of clove, give it a lovely flavour, some dried red chilli and some mustard seeds. You could add some cumin seeds or some fenugreek or something like that. That's up to you. But I think that's a nice little combo. Now, what we want to do is just for I don't know, 60 seconds, 90 seconds, let's just cook that in this oil. It'll just give it a nice little kind of infusion and set us up for our soup. Now anything goes in this soup, so regarding vegetables, you can just use whatever you want. Today I'm using, let's take a look, I've got potatoes, celery, green beans, carrots, bell peppers, white radish, okra, tomatoes, but again you can just put anything you want in. Now the fact that that dal uh, or lentils are not cooked, don't worry about that, we've, we've got, certainly got time for that to happen. So now, let's go in with some onions. And here I've got some roughly chopped garlic and ginger. So with all the vegetables, just keep everything nice and small. Bite-sized pieces. And again, on this kind of medium-ish type heat, let's do this for about two to three minutes. Okay, next up we're going to start adding our kind of hardest type of vegetable. So let's go in with some carrots. Here I've got some beans, green beans, celery and potato. On this side I've just got some radish white radish. I won't put the okra and we might get a few bits in there and the pepper in at the moment. Now I'm now going to go in with some fresh chilli. Now with my chillies today, what I've done is I've just sliced them so if people wanted they could just pick them out. If I chop them all in, it will be quite hot, especially if we've got those dried ones as well. I mean, I want a bit of heat in this, of course. Now I'm gonna go in with some powders. Today I'm using equal parts of turmeric, coriander, and cumin. So, you know, that, that kind of size spoon of each. Okay, so let's, again, on this medium heat, let's give that another sort of four to five minutes, stirring it around every now and then. Okay, so this is sautéing really nicely. At this stage, I'm going to add a little bit of salt. 
to taste. Then some chopped tomatoes. Cut them nice and small again. They'll break down into the mix. Now I'm going to add some cold water. We're going to be adding plenty more water. We're going to get this soup up to about here, up to this sort of level. So at this stage, just that amount of water. Still on this kind of just above a medium heat now. So let's get a lid on. Let that go for like four to five minutes. Those tomatoes will break down a little bit. We'll add some more veg and uh, more water when we get back. It's so simple. Okay, let's jump in and take a look now. Let me get a little bit of steam out of there. Great. Now I've just tasted that and I can tell you that the salt level's fine at the moment. Now I'm going to add my last vegetables which are my bell peppers or capsicums and my okra. You of course could be adding sweet corn, mushrooms, zucchini. Anything you like goes. The more the merrier really I suppose isn't it? We're now going to add some more water. So we've got a real soupy consistency now. Now here I've got some fresh coriander or cilantro which I'm going to add about half of it now. I'm holding the rest back for the end. And I've also got fresh mint which I think works wonderfully in this. So again, about half in now. Half at the end. Spinach would work really nice in this, wouldn't it? Or some, you know, chopped kale or something like that. That's looking wonderful. Okay, medium heat. Lid on. Eight to ten minutes. Give it a stir every now and then. Okay, let's jump in and take a look now. There's some steam out there for you guys. This is looking wonderful. Okay, just check that your vegetables are cooked. These are, these are done nicely now, so I'm really happy. They're nice and tender. Now you could be adding some beans in there, some cooked beans, maybe some red beans or black eyed peas or some other type of lentil or dal. That would be really nice, I think. I'm going to finish this off now with that little bit more of the fresh mint and the cilantro. Check this for salt. And I'm just going to put a little pinch now of garam masala powder. Just a little kind of finishing spice. There's a recipe for that on the channel, of course. In that goes. Off goes the heat, and we're done. What a really nice winter warmer Indian style soup there. Nice bit of spice, keep you nice and warm. That's it. Hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you soon. Lots of love. With thousands of recipes and millions of views, why not subscribe to our channel and join the family?